Today we're going to unbox a Maverick practice channer. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about liking the video, subscribing to the channel, sharing with any other pipers in your life, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also give Skype lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. All right, everybody, I got a real treat here. My good friend Frank Martinez is letting me unbox his Maverick Chanter. If you've not seen these Maverick Practice Chanters, they come in all sorts of different colors, and they can really look amazing. So let's not waste any more time and take a look. All right, so nice solid tube here. End cap held in with some staples. What do we have? Okay. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. And that's everything in the tube. Let's see what we got here. We'll start with this small guy. Nice bubble wrap. Everything was very secure. Nothing was rattling in the tube. That's always nice. Oh my goodness gracious. Can you see that? That is... So it looks like we have blue, gray, and green. Wow. So it has a, a cap. I guess the cap is for the practice channel itself. That's kind of cool. It's got a nice hole on the top to help air everything out here. Now, let's take a look at the real business here. So it looks like this has the upgraded sole on the bottom there. Lovely. Bit of metal there. Wow, it's got some nice heft to it. It's uh, This is a serious instrument right here, but look at how fantastic that looks. Holes nicely chamfered. See a nice kind of beveling there. Seriously, this thing, it's got a, some nice weight to it. Stainless steel mouthpiece here. I imagine that's an upgrade as well. Beautiful ferrule here. No uh, scribe lines or anything on it, just smooth metal. Okay, it's got uh, a hemp joint and it's got a Fraser red reed here. I got a bunch of other practice channel reeds here. We're gonna try this with several. But uh, given the current climate, and I don't recommend you stand these things up like this. I'm going to do it because I know no one's going to knock it over. But given the current climate, I'm sure this is safe and fine, but I'm still going to take some isopropyl alcohol and a cloth here. And I'm going to go ahead and just wipe down the surfaces that I'm going to be touching because, you know, the stuff that's going on right now. Okay. Actually, wipe down the reed a little bit too. And let's have a go at this thing. Top fits on nicely from the factory. My understanding is that the wood of this is dyed various colors and then glued together and then coated with polyurethane and turned or something like that. Um, but it's clearly just gorgeous uh, and it's available in a ton of colors. Let's hear how this sounds. <laughs> Along with this lovely channer here that we're going to continue playtesting in a moment, uh, Frank also brought over some lovely uh, Tom and Towel Tenure, the Gentle Dram whiskey. So let's uh, let's have a taste. Oh, that's it's nice on the nose. It's got some almost kind of coffee like fudgy notes, but light. That that it's light coffee, light fudge. Oh, but definitely some fruit on that nose as well. All right, let's have a sip. It's almost kind of a citrusy lemon kind of, just a, kind of an acidity, but not in a bad way. And the finish is, is relatively short, but not in any way unpleasant. Now, what is this bottle at? This is at, uh, it's at 40%, so... Uh, 
I've been accused by some of uh, not uh, tasting my whiskeys properly. I often do add a bit of water. I just don't show it on camera, but I thought I'd go ahead and show it on camera today. So we're going to go ahead and add just the tiniest bit of water. This is a 40%, so we're not going to add much. Just a few drops here. Just give it a good swirl around. And I don't notice much difference in the nose with the addition of water. With the addition of some water, it brings the acidity of the arrival down just a little bit, but uh, the lemon is still there. But there's also this kind of creamy vanilla. The Gentle Dram, I think, is an apt description of this particular spirit, and I appreciate, Frank, you allowing me to uh, try a little bit here. Now, let's get back to trying this channel out. Ooh, the burl feels nice on this. Let's go ahead though and try it with a different brand read. I have an Abbott right here that I'm playing in my McClellan Channer at the moment. And I wanna hear how it's just a different style of read. So you can see this Abbott is significantly wider than this Fraser. So it's going to behave quite differently in the Channer. Let's hear how it sounds. So the Abbott reed has a bit of a rounder sound to it, I would say. I would say with both reeds, so this cheddar has a nice kind of edge to it. It's got a kind of a, like a rah to it that's, well, it's cool. It kind of has like this crack, especially the grace notes. So the G still just a touch sharp with this read. We're gonna try with a couple others and see if it comes in or if it maybe just needs a touch of tape. We will find out. Okay, I got another Abbott here to give it a, a whirl with. Now this one needs to be seated out a little bit further. That high A is a bit sharp. Let's add a little bit of string to the bottom. So again, the further the reed sits out in the reed seat, the flatter the top hand in particular is going to be. It flattens the whole channer, but it flattens the top hand more. So make sure it's in there nice and square. Give it another go. Oh, see with this reed, that high G is sounding quite nice. Again, the burl feels nice and lovely. It's so smooth. And again, it looks just amazing. This is really gonna make a statement at any practice workshop or anything like that you go to. This is going to turn some heads. So let's see how this uh, channer cap fits on the top. Again, a feature I haven't really seen, but a nice way to keep your reed dry without having to take it out. Now with this Abbott reed, interestingly enough, the Abbott reed is pretty tall. It's significantly taller than the Fraser reed it came with. So with the reed I'm liking the most, this actually, I couldn't put it on all the way without it actually touching the top of the reed. So let's put the Fraser back in here and let's add a little string to the bottom of it, have it seat out just a little further and see if we can bring that G in with the provided red Fraser here. So again, with the reeds seated out a little bit more, that high G is coming in quite nicely. So just if you have one of these and you're noticing perhaps your G is a bit sharper than you might like it, just think about adding a bit of string to the reed and it seems to respond quite quickly to the reed being raised and bringing that G into tune.
here you go, everybody. The Maverick Chanter. It comes in a number of colors. I've seen black and yellow online. I've seen purple and black. Uh, I've seen red. There's a ton of colors. Check them out. Um, some great stuff there. The finish on this is fantastic. The sole is awesome. Uh, the fit of everything just is really nicely done. It sounds great. It feels cool. It's nice and weighty. And it reads well with either a Fraser or an Abbott Reed, two very different styles of read, and yet both sound quite lovely in this. And you've been able to hear the different sound qualities the different reads create. So again, this is an upgraded model with a stainless steel mouthpiece and sole. You can get it uh, without those as well. So kind of whatever you're wanting. So yes, I would recommend this channel. About the only thing it doesn't have is some sort of water trap built into the mouthpiece. This is just a open tube with a cap here. So if you're a particularly wet blower, you might need a moisture sponge or something on the bottom, but that's typical of most channers on the market. And just look at how thick that ferrule is right there. At the end of the video, there'll be photos of this chanter so you can check it out in detail and uh, see if maybe this might be right for you. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you got something out of this video, think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, commenting below with any thoughts you have, and sharing with any other pipers that you think might need such a lovely chanter like this one right here. If you want to go the extra mile, I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month really goes a long way to help support the channel. My patrons often get advanced viewings of upcoming videos, and there is some unique content on there just for my patrons. If you want more personalized instruction, I also give Skype lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com or email me here at matt at mattpiper.com and we'll get you going. I'm working with people from all over the planet and I hope to get to work with you soon. All right, everybody. Again, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.